I'm working on a 2000 Mustang V6 today. It's uh, got kind of high miles, 206,000, and it's been sitting for about a year and a half. Um, so I uh, drove it home, it was running kind of rough, put some fresh gas in it, and um, it runs better, but still uh, not very good. I just took it for a um, about a 45 minute drive, and after driving for a while, it starts to run a little bit of rough and kind of hesitates on the highway. Um, when you come to a stop, it kind of almost feels like it wants to die, but, um, but it hasn't yet. Um, it seems like as soon as you rev it up and get it in the higher RPM range, it really kind of wakes up and you don't hear any misfire at all. So um, I've already tested the fuel pressure, but I wanted to do a video on it. I'll be honest, I don't know what the spec is, but I wanted to show you um, the uh, bouncing fuel pressure here. So let me get this thing on the tripod real quick and I'll start the car and we'll take a look. So right now I can kind of feel it bumping around a little bit, kind of hesitating. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the vacuum line, go into the fuel pressure regulator now. And you see we bump up to in the 40 range, but still fluctuating the same amount, around 5 PSI. So it looks like the fuel pressure regulator is doing its job. Go ahead and plug it back in. So you can see the fuel pressure regulator is doing what it's supposed to be doing. We've got a little bit of hesitation here in the engine. You probably won't be able to pick it up on the camera, but it is kind of uh, shuddering a little bit. Maybe you can hear it now that I'm in the car. It feels like a misfire. definitely feel it there and as you uh, rev it up it feels like a misfire but then it goes away and right now it feels perfect the engine revs nice and smooth so um, sort of a strange issue and there are a few components to this vehicle's fuel system you have the fuel pump um, the fuel pressure regulator which is vacuum controlled. And then you have a sensor here on top, which tells the PCM uh, what the fuel pressure is. It relays it back to the PCM. Well, there's another component in the trunk of this car, which is called the CCRM, or the fuel pressure driver module. And that's what tells the um, fuel pump how much pressure to give everything and kind of tells everything what's going on. So it looks like it's doing its job. It's trying to compensate for something. Um, the fuel pressure regulator is bringing the pressure down and then the sensor here is trying to bring it back up. Uh, at least I think if I understand everything correctly. Um, what I think is going on, I think there's an injector that's hung open um, and it's trying to compensate fuel pressure for that. Now I'm not 100% sure but since it kind of clears up in the higher RPM range it kind of makes sense. Um, also I've only driven I think uh, 30 miles and if the fuel pressure gauge is correct, I've almost gone through half a tank of gas. Um, I don't really know if that's right. Like I said, I don't know if the fuel pressure gauge is correct. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, so we're going to go from here and see if we can figure this out.